Hey, I'm Nick Gamer. Welcome update. back to PCM21. It's Stage Racer. We're on episode 70, and we're finally ready to kick off a new season. Uh, Michael Garrison is leading the way. Joe Dombrowski is following, and then a delay behind as a gist in case as we go over the top. There's only one climb. We're at the Santos Tour Down Under. There are three punchy stages on this one, but they're... There's not much to him. I mean, it's, it's a 2K climb, and Garrison needs to push here pretty hard. He's only a 65-65. Out of the two best support riders I have, they both the got the race off. High. I only have nine riders in the entirety of the team. Only two riders got the race off, and they happen to be the two that are... Uh, what do you call it? They happen to be the two... <laughs> not present for this one so uh, it is what it is on that part as I set myself up with 500 meters to go I will attack from here and we're gonna go full gas and that's gonna open up a little bit of a gap as I go over the top let's see how well Another I can hold it together as we way. go on through I've, I've gotten myself a 20 second advantage and we're going to keep right behind. on pushing here with 6k to go. We're going to go arrow and hey, 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 keep pushing, keep we're pushing. Into the last five kilometers. 25 seconds clear, eight riders giving chase, and I'm already halfway down the descent with 3.9k to go. Sprinting it out, 2.5k to go. Can we hold them off? Do we have an advantage on a stage that I really shouldn't have been able to pull a gap on? It's 1k to go. These guys are going to sprint faster than I am. And here they come. Here they come. Yeah, we hang on. Okay. <laughs> we hang on. That gap came down awfully fast with that sprint coming in. Stannard, Pidcock, Dunbar, Shockman. But we do hang on. They were coming in hot and heavy, but yes, we get the win on our first stage of the season. Two more little punchy stages to go. One similar to this, and one good one up Wolunga Hill. Knowing how the system works, I took advantage of the system and employed, well, not one, but a couple tactics. One longer term, one just specifically to today's stage the longer term thing was that my first objective was going to be in march i know how to manage fitness levels and because i can't control it directly why not use and abuse the opportunity the possibility to get something out of this first race so i added in santos tour down under as an objective why? Because it's so easy to get that fitness level high, get the bonus, and then do something with it. So I have a fitness peak and an objective here. Only My expected, plus three. I was a plus one on that last stage that we just won. Just a plus two today, so I've actually had a minus three draw combined out of the two stages, but whatever. It's not impacting me. I'm not bothered by it because actually I'm looking pretty dang good on you know how i'm setting up but i already managed to turn that first one into a win and you never know what you know what's going to happen with this stage today one thing that's not going to happen though is getting much team support i have dombrowski and nobody else everybody else is well exhausted already part of that is my doing because the second thing that i exploited and took advantage of is the stage opening up with a category two climb and 10 points available at the top I've given myself a strong possibility of winning the King of the Mountains classification because going over the top of that climb at the end of that last stage, I went over the top first. I attacked before. No points available on the end of the stage here, but I went and collected the 10 points at the beginning of this one. Being that I am the leader of the race, I was right at the front. So all I had to do was effort up and didn't even have to go full gas nobody was attempting to break away when I was pushing like that and then as I got a little bit closer towards the top about 4k to go I accelerated a bit and just rode right off nobody wanted to keep up with me so I went clear easily got the points sat up and it cost me virtually nothing it cost me you know a, a tiny amount of yellow bar that I would have right now compared to what I do have and that was it 
So I picked up those easy, easy 10 points, and I'm comfortably first place in the King of the Mountains at this point. And then we have one more climbing stage to go with Wolonga Hill, and I'm going to be making an effort to finish at or near the top on that one, though focusing on the GC. And I've got a legit shot at winning the King of the Mountains, possibly the overall, possibly another stage or two, maybe, along the way. So I like my chances. But by going over the top, it forced the field to chase me down. And because some of my teammates are such terrible climbers, these guys are 13 minutes behind riding together desperately just trying to survive. I have three riders well, well off the back and two riders absolutely struggling in the back of the peloton. So I literally have one support rider is all. Uh, let's go ahead and set ourselves up for a big push and we will get him on the go out front and making hay while the sun shines. There we go, 6k to go, and he's making his push. Let's take a look at what our profile is here. I think realistically, I want him to kind of push through here and you want to go on that final climb near the end, which does not necessarily suit me. This one's a little bit harder uh, than what we had. We will get him to transcend. Okay, red bar's gone. We're seeing Shockman, Chavez attack. And it's a swift but they have not gotten Maximilian far enough Schussmann. away to actually do anything. And Dabrowski, who's got that little bit of yellow bar, is going to set himself up. Now I have 2k to go. And now we can just attack. And you can see how easy that was to bring back Shockman. And now we are going full sprint. Only a few got that punchiness. I've gone clear a little bit, apart. but I don't have any red bar left. Can we hang on? No. No, we cannot, but I can get a podium today, maybe. Oh yeah, we got a podium locked Victory up. We'll get third right on the, the stage. The young Gourmet just picked up his first real life victory this past week, and good on him, the Eritrean. That was massive. Robert Stannard, though, takes the stage ahead of Gourmet, and myself getting third ahead of Pidcock, Schelling, Narvaez, Chavez, the, the guys who should be finishing at the front. Me getting on the podium is silly, but race day condition is a factor. And in this early race, a lot of guys aren't coming in with any sort of bonuses. This is how the standings look at this point in time. Uh, Caleb Ewan well placed after winning the sprint stage previously. More sprint stages to come, so he's not out of it yet. But with Walunga Hill, the one to come, there's a good chance that he could lose some time on that one. I have a nine second advantage over Stannard. 15 over Gourmet and Ewan, 21 to Pidcock, Garcia Cortina, and Sagan at 23, having picked up some bonuses at the sprint points, or in the sprint classifications, whichever one it may be. 25 second back to this group, and then at 20 second on down, well out of contention. All right, so we are in the decisive stage of this race it's stage five of six it's the Wollonga Hill stage we're going to turn left here and head up Wollonga Hill for the first time but I, I didn't want to sit back I really didn't want to sit back on this one so what we're going to be doing here is I want Blicker to follow Delay, and then I will be at the back end of the group not actually I don't want to be at the very back end I want to be towards the middle I'm going to use these guys initially uh, to to have a go to get for because I'd like to pick up a few KUM points on this one. I'm not going to make a huge effort on it, but I would like to make an effort on it. Uh, powers. Powers, try to get on the tail end, please. So I'd, I'd like to. I, I'm not worried about going over the top first, but I, I would like to get somewhere within that top five. There's two riders left from the break now, one rider left from the break. And we're seeing that push. Blikra already struggling here, so that's not good. Uh, Jones is behind me. Yeah, okay. It's 2K. Let's just climb our pace. The lie would stop blocking me. He's continually blocking me, keeping me from getting a top five here. Okay, sprint it out, sprint it out, sprint it out. Sprint, 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 sprint. Nope. Sit up. We are going to be seventh of the top. Sagan was clear of us. 
So no points on the KOM for that one. That's okay. That's really okay. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. Oh my, the guys up front aren't going to be making too many friends today. We'll get it on the next one. That cost me nothing. Uh, we actually have a peloton of just 23 at the moment, and none of my team is here. But it's coming back together. And now the guys are going to start making a move to get back into position. A lot of them quite tired, but Garrison and Dabrowski, the two that matter, should be able to get back up on my wheel. Garrison on a plus four. A lot of fatigue in the field, which is an excellent thing, as we see another yo-yo. Those two riders that are clear are Shockman and Shelling. Gotta watch out for those, but there's enough riders that want it here. Delay is recovering pretty well, so I might have three support riders when things come back together. Assuming they do, and we've cut back up to these two. Shockman, okay, we already know about you. Shelling's done. Shockman's looking good. Cavanya is not much of a threat, but we'll see how he's doing. Not so good. Narvaeus. He's not good. Stannard is fine. George Bennett's fine. Only ten kilometers left. Chavez is fine. The real contenders are still looking good. Here comes the left hander. Dunbar still looks okay. And it's just the 31 of us. Nobody's caught up. Not at this stage, but looks like that group is close. They're definitely pushing harder than we are at this stage. The finish line is getting Peacock. close. The He's fine. The Seneschal. Oh, that's Shockman. All right. Well, anyway. 31 riders clear. Let's go ahead and gel up. 4k to go. And let's go effort up. I want to get forward here. Climb at my pace for a little bit. Which will put me in a nice strong position as I'm getting blocked. I can't and get it's clear. A swift acceleration by Maximilian Schachmann. Okay, start pushing a little bit harder. I've got good hill rating. 2.3k. Okay, push a little harder. Push a little harder. Down to just 22 chasing two. And I'm the one pulling them back in. And I've actually gone clear here with 1k to go. Pushing a little bit harder. Back together, but you can see how I am outriding the bunch at the moment. And sprinting it out for the last 500 meters. Opening that gap a little bit further. Red bar's gone though. They've got a chance to come back at me, but I opened the gap. It will be a win. We'll get Superb max points here. That's a stage victory. The at the last. The tail are still coming in. Adria ahead of Demoulon. That further establishes my position, and that will absolutely secure the KOM. Uh, likewise, because the regular contenders weren't here. They, Shockman will have picked up. Actually, Shockman will have had some decent points. So Shockman is the one we got to watch out for. When we look here in a second to see how they all finished. Team ended up zero support today. But I didn't need it. 23 second advantage at the finish line. Really opening up that gap. That's a 42 second likely win. There's one sprint stage to go. But Stannard Garmay stay second and third. Adria up to fourth. Pidcock, Demoulin, Garcia, Cortina, Sagan, Dunbar, and Jorgensen are your top ten. Though that ninth through uh, 13th is still kind of up for whatever happens in that last stage. Points classification. I am eight points clear. Pidcock's not a threat. Garcia, Cortina is not a threat. Uh, Ewan absolutely could sprint his way still into a win for the points classification but i have a 20 point advantage in the kom shockman does go well clear into second place but he didn't have points previously or at least not enough 
I'm crushing this thing overall, but as a team, we're still only 11th place. And we're into the final stage, assuming that I cannot win the sprint because, you know, I'm not a sprinter. This is my fourth time on the bike so far this season. Of course, we've had a couple of quick sims on sprint stages, but fourth time on the bike, and that's going to be three victories and a podium. Two stage wins. The overall. Apparently, there's points available here. Really? Who's in the break? Do they have any points? They do not. How many points do I have? Okay, good. They're, they're not a threat. 20 points available. That breakaway has plenty of advantage. They'll pick up the points. I'm not worried about the two points that remain. Yeah, KOM. It's ours. It's in the bag. So we've got the KOM. We might have the points classification. Uh, we will try to sprint that final, the final sprint here, just to see if we can't get at least a couple points to help with uh, securing that points classification. But otherwise, if I don't get that one, I don't. Uh, I'm just want to get the maximum that I can out of this race. 21 riders off the back. The None of them are my teammates. The We're down to the final 14k already. One rider left away, but he is being reeled in as we speak. And there you go. Ten kilometers remaining. The sprinters are positioning themselves up front. All It'll right. Be a mass uh, sprint can any of these guys sprint? Powers can, and so can Jones. So we'll set ourselves up behind those two. Have them give me a little bit of a lead out here with 8k to go. Come on forward, 6k to go. I'll use my gel here in a moment. This isn't that fast of a run in. There you go. Okay, Jones comes clear. There's Powers. We're into the last five kilometers. I lost the wheel there for a moment. We're down to 53 in the Peloton. 4.5k. 3.5k. Jones. 3k to go. Okay, start his sprint. On to Powers with his sprint. Around the bend here. He hasn't even pulled away from Jones yet. <laughs> and 1k to go into my sprint. I've got good acceleration. It's going to allow me to actually get a top 10 here. I'm actually not even that far uh, off from getting a, a podium. Kenny Ewan, Ewan. Germay, Jakobsen. <laughs> I got fifth. Wow. Fifth on this sprint. Shocking. Shockman got sixth. The lie got seven. The up their rear have made that that should be enough power. points to keep this the uh, points classification, you would think. Zapper. The acceleration is that good, huh? If I go late, get a little bit of a lead out from somebody who can properly sprint, if I can just about keep up with them, have something left in the tank. I've got enough acceleration to go fast for a moment, but my top speed is just, you know, not that good. All right, there's your overall win. There is the points win ahead of Caleb Ewan, KOM win, under 25's win, we got everything but the team jersey, we somehow got up back up to 10th place today as well, so good on that, great start to the season with two stage wins, a top five, a top three, and the overall, <sighs> wow, that's gonna do it for this one though, I'm Decathlon Gamer, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.